Uh, let's get to our first topic here on Lions News and Rumors. And Equinemia St. Brown wanted to be a Detroit Lions. Okay, season ended. Lions didn't want me. Uh, that's crazy. Anyways, season <laughs> ended. Didn't want for, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm a free agent. Lions didn't want me. Um, it's not crazy. over yet. The season hasn't started. He, 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 on, ain't, like, he ain't showing no love. He ain't talking to Dan like, Campbell. He ain't, started, like, he ain't talking to nobody. He ain't talking to nobody. I, can you give me time to work? No, no, like, no, no. Time's over. Time. Time's over. I'm a saint. I'm a saint now. So okay. Just like my last name. Oh, the saints. Yeah, yeah. So, anyways, he didn't talk to nobody. Left, left me out to dry. Anyways, so uh, I wasn't going to go back to Chicago. Uh, I just felt like it wasn't a good fit for me moving forward. So Now, there was quite a few people in some of the shows last year that were talking about St. Brown, you know, becoming a free agent. And, man, would that be fun to have two Browns on the team. And, you know, Aquinemius hasn't had the same type of trajectory that his younger brother has had. Uh, that's got to be great for conversation. Uh, it seems like they get along, you know, swimmingly. But I can only imagine, you know, I've never had the luxury of having a, you know, a younger or older brother living with me full time. So we didn't really have those the brotherly love or or that, you know, the the fights that you would get into or the competition between you. I can only imagine what goes on in that house, you know, when they were younger. But let me read this article here by Yard Barker. Uh, e, e to Z Sports, Mike Payton. So it says, Equinemia St. Brown wanted to play in Detroit, but he says the Lions did not want him. He says, the St. Brown Brothers podcast is back on Thursday with a special one-time off-season episode. They started the whole thing off with a bang with the Lions receiver, Amon Ross St. Brown, asking his older brother, Equinemia, about sig- signing with the Saints after leaving the Bears. It turns out that there was some interest on his side of teaming up with his little brother uh, in Detroit, but that just didn't work out. Uh, Equinemius had this to say. He said, the Lions didn't want me. That's crazy. I'm a free agent. Lions didn't want me. He, talking about Amon Ross St. Brown, ain't show no love. He ain't talked to Dan Campbell. He ain't talked to nobody. I'm a saint now. Uh, Grammar, buddy, grammar. Uh, Anyway, Amon Ra uh, said that there's still time and asked for Equinemius to give him some time to work and that the season hasn't started yet, but Equinemius said that the time is over. He's a saint now. Uh, The older uh, St. Brown also said that he talked with the the Giants, the Titans, and the Chargers prior to signing with the Saints. Uh, Equinemius has been in the league since the Packers took him in the sixth round in the 2018 NFL Draft. He spent four seasons there before heading to the Bears for two seasons. Uh, there was some thought that he would definitely be on the Lions' radar during free agency and get a shot at a spot on the roster, but the Lions apparently were not interested at the time. Amon Ra could be right, though. There may still be some time to make this happen. Equinemius is only on a one-year deal in New Orleans. Maybe next offseason, the Lions will be interested. Well, I've got some bad news for you, Equinemius. I just don't see you being a great fit. Not because of your character, not because of the culture, not not because of any of that. You just haven't done anything in the league. So coming into the Detroit Lions organization, man, you got to be a baller. You got to fit us in every way possible. Uh, He just hasn't done enough. And I think we have enough guys on the roster right now that kind of fill out the bottom line uh, you know, of this roster. And, and you know, with guys like DPJ and uh, Antoine Green, um, you know, it, we, we've got plenty of guys that, A, need to make the roster, and, and B, maybe they've already done some things in the league. Not so much Antoine Green, but DPJ. And we want to see those guys continue their trajectory in the NFL uh, and help this team win this season. So what do you guys think in the chat, you know, or comment after after the video here? Uh, or after live stream, I apologize. What do you think it would look like? Equinemia St. Brown and Amon Ross St. Brown on the same team. Would you welcome it in? Do you, do you think it would be a benefit to the Lions? Or do you think it's more of just a, a storyline? Now, the one thing that I, I would love, obviously, for these two guys is to have an opportunity to play together. I don't think that there's anything uh, better in life for them than to actually have an opportunity. You know, it's like father and son playing on the same team, brothers playing on the same team, even cousins that are playing on some of the same teams in the NFL. Uh, I think that that is, one, it's a very intriguing story. Uh, and two, uh, I think that there's nothing better than that. You know, that you're living out your biggest goals in life and you're doing all the things that you've ever wanted to do. And 
that's just like that one extra thing that not many people get an opportunity to do. And I think it would be kind of cool. Uh, I just don't see where Equinemius would beat out our fifth guy right now. I just, I don't see it. So not throwing any hate on you, EQ. Uh, it's just is what it is. It's just my opinion. And you know what opinions are like. Everybody's got one. Well, we beat them last year. It's a new year every year. The NFL changes every year. We got better and you guys didn't. The NFL changes every year. We got better, you guys didn't. How'd you guys get better? We revamped the second revamped the secondary. You guys lost receiver. Your yeah, we second, lost one. Second lead receiver. Right. Yeah. But we revamped mm -hmm. the secondary. It's not gonna help much. Got a D lineman. That's a dog. DJ Reader. Like, it's over. Is everyone a dog on your team? Like you'll see. Is everyone a dog? Yeah, we have one of the best rosters in the NFL, actually. Oh, okay. That didn't help you in the NFC championship, did it? No, it didn't. Mm, yeah. Um, but yeah, three prime. You know what's games. crazy? There's only one winner after every season. You know that? Yeah, everyone knows that. Okay, so like you're acting like you two plus two is four. Yeah, like you won the Super Bowl. That. You didn't win the Super Bowl. Okay, only one team won the Super Bowl. Exactly, and it wasn't you guys. And we're chasing it. I know. Like we're actually everyone's chasing it. You're chasing it just like us. No, no, no. we're actually chasing it. No, you're you chasing guys, like everyone else. Everyone else chasing it. Listen, every year, you guys get the team. every year is a new season. Like, That's something I want to say. Everyone gets in team meeting room. Like coach is like, what do you want to do? Like, what are your goals? No one in your fucking room thinks that you're gonna win the Super Bowl. Like that's cap. Honestly. No, we do. No, you don't. Yeah. Us, like, we know we can do it. So in the beginning of the year, you guys thought that you guys would win? Huh? Hmm? Beginning of last year, you guys thought you guys would win? Yes. No, you didn't. Now if you said cap. two years ago? <laughs> fuck no. Like <laughs> two years ago, we're just trying to make the playoffs. See, now it's how different. about this? Like, how about this? You keep you speak about your team. I, right. I you, you've only been on one team. I can speak for you about your team. Because it's no, the Saints. You don't know. Like, you're not good enough. You guys aren't good enough. You didn't make the playoffs. You never been in the room. You never been in the room. You didn't make the playoffs. So you know what we're talking about. You guys are trying to make the playoffs. Let me ask you this. So you know what's, what's going on That's the difference right Can I ask there? you a question? Do you know what's going to be said in our room? No, but I know what's being thought. Exactly. I know I know what's being thought in your room. How you, how you know that? Because I'm a player. I know but how you know that? Like, how you know that? Coach gets up there like, we want to do this, that, and the other. Bro. So you're Professor X now. What do you think? Like, what do you think? If you want to win the Super Bowl. I think you guys want to win the Super Bowl, but you got to yeah. make the playoffs first. Bro, I, it's not that hard to make playoffs. I mean, the Chicago didn't make it last year. Yeah, that's, Saints didn't make it last year. Like, a lot of teams don't make the playoffs. I know, but it's not that hard to make it. I'm just saying, bro. Yeah. We're actually chasing a Super Bowl. Who's in our division? Falcons. Mm -hmm. Buccaneers. Mm -hmm. You guys. Panthers. So what do you think? They were in your division last year, weren't they? Hmm? Anyways. Were they in your division anyways, last year? Anyways, okay. I wasn't there last year. You still didn't make it. I wasn't there last year.